Legends Lanes is a, is a family destination. Well, Legends Lanes uh, was available since about 10 years ago. We bought it, had opportunity to go from a four lane center to a six lane center and do a renovation. And uh, that's what we did. We owned, a, we owned a center in Red Granite. Um, we sold that and partnered with First National Bank and Mike Vaughn to get the loan for this building and the, the renovations that, that took place following that. Coming from Milwaukee, the, the idea was uh, to work at a place called Riley Motors in Watoma. That's, that's how that started. And, um, and I was offered the service director's job in, uh, in Milwaukee. So to, from there we wound up just, I wound up driving back and forth to work, um, doing that job and happened to stop in the bowling alley in Red Granite one evening and, and spoke with, uh, with the woman behind the bar who eventually, who, who was the owner and just kind of um, asked her how long she owned, owned it. She said, five years, why, do you want to buy it? <laughs> and I said, yeah, yeah, I want to buy it. And over the next couple months, we looked at numbers and, and uh, got together with the bank up there and we were able, was able to purchase that bowling center. When we bought this, it was an old, antiquated bowling center. There was no automatic scoring. The pin setters were were in distress, and it was just um, it was old. And my idea was to to modernize it, bring it back up to up to modern age. So we uh, we went ahead and, and contracted with uh, a gentleman by the name of Gary Daryshevsky from Milwaukee, who I knew that does that sort of thing. So he came in and um, we got rid of the ball returns, the undergrounds, put the above ground ball returns in, um, replaced the pin setters with, with more modern pin setters, put automatic scoring in, and just modernized everything. And um, I mean, I think a lot of people, um, a lot of people like that, but in retrospect, sometimes I wonder if we would, to leave it, the old retro style would have been, would have been uh, the way to go too. As a young kid, bowling has changed so much. There's so much other things to do, so it's hard to keep people interested in in just bowling. I mean, leagues are are long, um, so you need to bring something uh, entertainment value to to bring people in and, and make them want to stay. Um, so I said, as I was growing up, a bowling center was a bowling center. You know, you wanted uh, something to eat, you went somewhere else. You had you had your chips, potato chips, you might have a frozen pizza maybe, that was that was about it. And over time, people at, that own bowling centers, they, they call them uh, FECs now, family entertainment centers, a lot of places don't even call them a bowling alley anymore. And you bring the food into it, and you bring, for instance, the pizzas. We did start the, the pizza business, and it just gives people uh, a chance to, to come in and interact, good food, maybe they want to bowl a game, maybe they want to play some pool, some darts, it just, it just brings it more into a, a more complete package other than we're going to go to the bowling alley. Well, food, food is, is another passion of mine. I, I like to, when I do something, I want it to be the best. I don't want somebody to come in and say, hey, we're going to go to a bowling alley for, for a burger. Um, people, it, over, the, over the years that we've done the food, uh, we just tried to expand, make it better, make it better, make it better. Now, people come here just for, just for the food and the pizza business. Um, we started with a small electric oven and, and progressed to what we have now, which is a $15,000 uh, brick oven. And, um, and just constantly uh, updating, uh, doing a lot of research, the pizza schools, to come up with, with something that's different than just everybody else's pizza. And I think, I think that's what we've got. It's more of a, of a gourmet style of pizza flavor is is on, is huge on on our uh, on our menu the pizza menus and other menus. The people uh, the people in Amro are just are just super uh, responsive to to things. Said so when we first uh, when we first bought this being an empty building, um, I didn't know what to expect as far as as far as leagues. The first year I I thought if I could get one or two leagues the first year get it rolling we'd be okay and just from there grow. In the first year, it was, it was almost full. Leagues almost every day of the week. So the favorite part is, is the daily 
interacting with with people that have over over the 10 years have become friends. So it, it's it's almost not even like a job. It's just coming in and uh, and having fun. I think the most fulfilling part of the job for me is is um, just seeing customers smile and, and making them happy. A, a place for. Um, from the come with their families and just come and have fun, socialize. I think it's uh, um, and it not so much to do with me. It's it's the people in this town. I said coming from Milwaukee, um, just a lot different atmosphere in, in bowling centers and places like that. They're more uh, not as personal. Um, they don't see the same people all the time in, in the big cities like that. And then um, Red Granite <clears throat> was just was different. That was super small, more antiquated out in the big city, and then came to Amro and not knowing what to expect. And it, it's the people. I mean, the people in this town are, are hands down, you know, the best for sure. And um, and it's turned into a, a destination for people to come and be with their friends.